Luke Thomas at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada, alongside a man who needs no introduction, Zab Judah. Zab, let's get down to brass tacks. Let's talk the actual boxing in the, in the ring. Now, you're sparring with Floyd Mayweather. You fought Floyd Mayweather. What did you learn? I know you learned some from fighting him, but what have you learned now from sparring him that maybe you weren't quite aware of before? Um, working with Floyd has been um, a pleasure. You know what I'm saying? He gave me the opportunity to get myself back, to sit down and watch again what hard work and dedication is. You know what I mean? And um, I was thankful for the situation. And, you know, along me helping him, I put myself back in the map too. Do you feel like you're... What, tell me how you feel. Rejuvenated, ready to get back in there. How are you feeling? I'm very excited. I'm in probably some of the best shape of my life right now. Um, you know, you know, just 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 sitting back watching TBE do what he do is 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 something special to watch. Just when you think you work hard, you watch him and go, "Whoa, I gotta work harder." It's funny. I've talked to many fighters who say they might have an opinion about him one way or the other, and then they watch him train in his facility, and everything changes. Were you shocked by the way he trained? Like, what is so dramatic? Like, help me understand, because I'm not there. What does he do that's so like above and beyond what other people do? Even with him having $180 million guaranteed purse on Saturday night, he trains like he's broke. No joke. He trains like he don't have a dollar, like, it, like, it's, like it's no tomorrow. And now I understand why you can put the cap on him and call him TBE. All right, so let's help us understand this. You fought him previously. Now he's bringing you in to fight Manny Pacquiao. Why is he bringing you in? There's a lot of guys he could bring in. You're very talented. I'm not saying that, but he brought specifically you. What is he trying to get out of sparring you to help him prepare for Manny Pacquiao? Well, evidently, I don't fight anything like Pacquiao, you know what I'm saying? But he knows that Zab brings across good, fast hand speeds, aggressiveness, uh, dynamite power, you know what I'm saying? Great footwork, you know what I mean? And he, and he knows, you know, Zab, like I said, we're brothers at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we may argue, we may fight, but at the end of the day, we're still brothers. You know what I mean? And, you know, when he called on myself for this opportunity to come in there and give him the best of the best, I was there for him. Manny Pacquiao has said he's looking at tape, looking at a lot of different fights that Mayweather's had, and he said he focused on your fight with Mayweather. Why would he do that? Do you think that, obviously, because we know you gave Mayweather some trouble. I don't mean that. But do you think Pacquiao can mimic what you did? Do you think that fight is even relevant to the Mayweather of today? Of course, of course. Um, I think that what me and Floyd put on in 06 is a classic. You know what I'm saying? Not. What I'm, I don't mean that. I mean, do you think he still fights the same way? Oh, no. Like, right now, I've, I've told everybody this. He's 10 times better than he was when I fought him in 06. How so? Like, what has he added since then? Or what has he subtracted? Maybe, maybe he got rid of some bad things, picked up some new ones. Well, he's, he's stronger for, num for number one. His uh, defense is still impregnable. Um, foot moment, I mean, just the smarts, the way he carries himself inside the ring during a fight. You know what I'm saying? He, he's a very smart individual when it comes to the game of boxing. Now, when you look at Manny Pacquiao on tape, what do you see? What do you see that he say, okay, you know what? I'm picking Mayweather. I'm riding with Mayweather. That's my guy. But definitely I noticed this about Pacquiao. He does this pretty well. What would you say he does pretty well? Everything. Manny Pacquiao is a good fighter, you know what I'm saying? He has good, good, good hands. He has good power, good feet movement. If he wasn't, this fight would not be the magnitude of the fight that it is. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's in here to watch a bum, you know what I'm saying, fight Floyd Mayweather. You know what I mean? So this is why people know Manny Pacquiao, he's a good fight. He's a good, he's a good fighter, a great fighter, that I, would, that, that I would say. But the way that Floyd is, he's a technician. What's the one thing that, or maybe there's more than one thing, but if you had to focus in on one thing, what's the one thing that Pacquiao just has, will have no answer for? Mayweather can do many things, but what's the one thing you think, you know what, I just don't see any way he can handle that? I don't know right now. I don't know right now. I mean, you know, I trained with Floyd. I, I didn't train with Pacquiao, so I don't know Pacquiao's game plan. I don't know what he's going to come and bring to the table. One thing we do know, he's going to show up with, that, with everything on the A-plus a, a side. We know that for 100% fact. Floyd Sr. told me that he was more worried about the Canelo fight with Mayweather than he is the Pacquiao fight. Do you share that sentiment? Or maybe you think, you know what, Canelo's a great fighter, but he was a little bit wet behind the ears. Pacquiao, if nothing else, is very experienced. Well, number one, you got to look at the size of, the both, of both fighters. Canelo is a bigger, stronger, more aggressive fighter than uh, Manny Pacquiao. And Floyd was seemed to handle that situation pretty easy. You know what I'm saying? We got Miguel Cotto, when they fought at 54, he was a bigger, stronger guy than Manny Pacquiao is now, you know what I mean? So, 
Floyd has shown the world that he has fought bigger and stronger guys. You know what I'm saying? But what's going to happen Saturday night is going to be phenomenal. All right, so let's get a pick. I know you think Mayweather, but give me, give me a sense of how it's going to go. Past round six, is it domination? Past round six, is it a stoppage? What does it look like? 48-0 uh, and 0 by KO. <laughs> by KO? In the early part, uh, first half or second half of the fight? Um, I don't know, but it's going to come. And you, before we go, what's next for you? Give, give us a sense of Zab Judah in 2015. Can we expect something uh, from a competitive form? What, what are we looking at? I'm looking at, we're going to look at something, you know, something big right now. I've got myself in some of the best shape of my life right now. And uh, I'm looking to pull something out in uh, the end of May right now, May, June. And then, you know, towards the middle and the end of the year, we're going to bang something out big. Zab, thank you so much for your insight and best of luck to you this year. Thank you very much.